Hi Vanessa here in this video we are going to make this ribbed stocking here it's about 12 inches in this direction from toe to top here it's 14 and it is about five and a half inches wide all right let's get started So you're going to need two balls of super bulky weight yarn. This is Hometown USA by Lion Brand. This is Honolulu Pink and this is Los Angeles Tan. So I'm using a 10 millimeter crochet hook, a large eye tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and tape measure if you want to measure your work. Okay, so I'm going to start at the toe, which is this color here. This is going to be my main color. This will be my contrasting color. So we're going to start with a magic ring. So holding your tail, you're going to wrap your yarn around your fingers over the tail. Grab your hook, insert it into the loop to grab the working yarn. And there is your ring. You're going to chain one to secure your ring and that doesn't count as a stitch. Now we're going to work six single crochets into the ring. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So I'm working right over the tail. You want to work six single crochets. That's two, three, four, five and six. So you're going to tug on the tail to tighten. Now you have six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're not going to join. Instead, we're going to work right into the first stitch here and we're going to work two single crochets. So round two, we're working two single crochets in every stitch around. So I'm inserting my hook into that very first stitch Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. So I'm going to place a marker where my first stitch is. And then I'm going to work one more single crochet into the same stitch. So this is the same space. I worked my first stitch. You want to work another single crochet. So work two single crochets in every stitch around you're going to end up with a total of 12 single crochet stitches. This is my last stitch. That's 11 and 12. Round three, we're going to work one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochets. So we're working an increase every other stitch. So there's the first stitch. It's easier for me if I just did this. Into the next stitch, so the first one is just one single crochet. The next stitch is an increase, two single crochets. So that's one and two into the same stitch. The next stitch is just one single crochet. The next stitch is two single crochets. There's one and two. So increase every other stitch all the way around. You should end up with 18 stitches. Okay, so we're going to work two more rounds of just one single crochet in every stitch so that we have a total of five rounds for this contrasting color. So go ahead and work one single crochet in every stitch around. You can place your marker and move it up every round. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it where it is and continue working my rounds. Okay, so I'm ready to switch colors. This is my last stitch here, and this is the beginning of my round. 
So I'm not going to cut this. You can if you want. I'm going to carry it up so that you can see what it looks like carried up. Okay, so I'm going to grab my new yarn here. I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. And then with this loop here, you want to complete your single crochet with the main color. So in the first stitch, we're going to work one slip stitch. This will help decrease the jog in the color change. So now I'm going to work one half double crochet in every stitch around. So here's my next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through three. So repeat working one half double crochet in every stitch around. So I've just completed my last stitch for round six. I'm going to start round seven in this slip stitch. So that was the first stitch of the round. I'm going to alternate half double crochets, front post double crochets, half double crochets, front post double crochets. So if you're carrying your yarn up, you can make sure that the contrasting color is on top of the color you're going to use. That way it'll carry it up. So one half double crochet into the first stitch. So next stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet. So this post here is going to be our second stitch. The stitch is always on this side and then the post is always to this side of the loops. So you want to yarn over, insert into the space here under and back out the other side. We're working around this post here. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So that's one front post double crochet. Into the next stitch, which is right here. Like I said, the stitches are right here through the two loops. And then the post is always directly on this side of it. So since we're working in the stitch, we're going to work right in here. It's a little covered, but it's this stitch. Don't jump over here. So yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so we're going to work another front post double crochet. So you can see we're going to be alternating the half double crochet, front post, half double crochet, front post. Now the front post double crochet is going to go into around this post. So we worked our last post here and we worked our half double crochet here. And although it may seem like the post that you're not working into is this one, it's actually going to be this one. So this post belongs to this stitch that you just worked. This post belongs to this stitch. So we're going to work into this post. Yarn over around this post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two yarn over and pull through two. So if you accidentally worked into the wrong one, you can tell right away that they're going to be right next to each other. So then you know that you need to pull back and work into the correct post. Okay, so just repeat that all the way around. Next stitch, half double crochet. Next stitch here, front post double crochet. Next stitch, half double crochet. Next post, front post double crochet. So continue working your half double crochets and your front post double crochets all the way around. Okay, so I'm working towards the end here. I've got my half double crochet, my front post double crochet. So I'm at the end of the round. I've worked my front post double crochet. This is the first stitch of the round, one half double crochet, and then you're going to work your front post double crochets around these post stitches here. 
So into the first stitch, one half double crochet. You can mark your stitches if you want. Next stitch, front post double crochet right on this post here. Okay, so right under that post, work a front post double crochet. So just go ahead and repeat all the way around, half double crochet, front post double crochet. So I've just completed my last stitch. So one half double crochet, one double crochet on the front post. So one front post double crochet. And if you're carrying your yarn up, make sure that you've got your color that you're carrying up. In this case, it's my pink one. Make sure it is on top of the yarn that you're using. So go ahead and work the same round until round 11. And then we'll start working on the heel. Okay, I'm done with round 11. We're going to start on the heel. Again, you want to complete this front post double crochet with the other color. And the first stitch here is going to be one single crochet. And we're going to work eight more single crochets. You want a total of nine. And you're going to want to hold your main color up against your work because when we start picking it up, it's going to pick up on this side. So insert your hook into the next stitch. I'm catching this strand here, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, into the next stitch, make another single crochet. So again, I'm holding that up against my work. Okay, so now I have nine stitches, and as you can see, the main color was carried along the back. So when you're ready to pick it up, it'll be on the correct side. Okay, the next row, chain one and turn. Now you're going to work one single crochet in every stitch across, except the last one. So we have nine stitches here. We're going to end up with eight stitches on this row. Next row, chain one and turn. And we're going to work across here, skipping the last. So we're going to repeat that until we have four stitches. So this row, I'm going to have seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm skipping the eighth stitch. So now chain one and turn. Now we're going to end up with six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so two more rows. This one is going to end up with five stitches. Okay, chain one and turn. Now we're going to work four single crochets, one in each. So that's three and four. Okay, so now we're going to chain one and turn. So we're going to start shaping it in this direction. Okay, so now we're ready to shape the heel. So we've worked this section here. We're going to now increase and make this section here. Okay, so now we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're just working one single crochet in every stitch. So we're working four single crochets. Three and four. Okay, chain one 
Okay. Now we're going to work one single crochet here where we skipped, and that's two rows below. So in this row, we skipped one stitch at the end. So instead of pulling this straight down, we're going to work into this side stitch here. So we're going to work into that side stitch in the row right above this one. And we're going to work a single crochet two together. That'll help eliminate huge gaps. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you're going to insert your hook into that skipped stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. In this side stitch, we're going to work a slip stitch. So insert your hook, make sure you insert through two loops and not inserting through one or in between the stitches because that will also create gaps. So you're essentially going right through that single crochet. Okay, so slip stitch. Now you turn. So now we've created an extra stitch. This was your slip stitch. We're not going to work into the slip stitch. We're going directly into the next single crochet and work back in this direction. One, two, three, four, and five. So now we're going to increase another stitch. So we had four, we went in this direction and created an extra. So now we have five, we're going to create a six stitch. So in through the side loop, yarn over, and pull up a loop into the skipped stitch here, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. Again, look for the side stitch here and work a slip stitch. Okay, now we have six stitches. We're going to turn, skip this slip stitch into the next single crochet and every single crochet across, that's two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now we're going to increase by working into this stitch here. So we're going to insert our hook into the side stitch, pull up a loop, into the skipped stitch here, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three. So this side stitch here, that's the very first stitch we worked in this color. You want to work a slip stitch. Now I'm going to turn and work back in this direction. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to skip the slip stitch and work the seven stitches across and then create an eighth stitch. Okay, six. And seven. So now we're going to go into this skipped stitch. Into the side, yarn over, pull up a loop, into this skipped stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Into this side stitch here, work a slip stitch. So now we have eight stitches. Turn your work, skip the slip stitch, and work eight single crochets. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we're going to work a slip stitch into the same stitch as this stitch down here. We're going to turn. So now we're going to work the eight stitches in this direction. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to finally make our last increase here. 
So skipping the chain one into each of the next eight stitches, work one single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Okay, our last increase for our ninth stitch is going to be through the side here. And then this stitch here is the first skipped stitch that we did on this on this row here. Okay, into the same stitch, we're going to work one slip stitch with the main color. Insert your hook, pull up the main color and work a slip stitch. So what we did is decrease the nine stitches into four and then we brought it back up and increased it back to nine. So now we're back at 18 stitches. Okay, now we're going to turn our work. Now we're going to work one half double crochet in every stitch. So we're going to skip this slip stitch into the next one half double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet. So work that across your contrasting color, making sure that you end up with nine half double crochets. Okay, this is the ninth half double crochet. So this was the beginning. We're starting here and then we're working around the contrasting color where the heel is. And then now we're going to pick up the same stitch pattern on this edge. Okay, so I played with this part to close this gap several times. Um, and you can work it however you want. But what I'm going to do is incorporate one of these stitches into my front post double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to insert my hook right into this half double crochet here. That's where all of these stitches are coming out of. So I'm going to insert my hook and then I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. Okay. So now without yarning over, I'm going to go into this post here, front post double crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop. So now I'm going to complete that as a double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now I've created the very next stitch for this post, but I also closed the gap in the corner here. Next stitch, half double crochet. Next stitch, front post double crochet. Okay, continue in pattern until you get to the contrasting color again, which is the end of the round. So this is going to be my next stitch here one front to post double crochet. Okay, so the first stitch of the round is right here. Okay, so just like the other side here, I'm going to incorporate one of these stitches in order to close the gap. But this time, this is just a half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into this space here where all of these stitches are coming out of. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Instead of pulling through all three, I'm going to yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to insert into this stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through three. So that's completing my half double crochet and I've pulled this corner here closed. So now I'm going to start working the pattern, working 
one front to post double crochet, one half double crochet, one front post double crochet. So this is just like we did down here when we had to set up for the front post double crochets. All right, now we're going to continue in the pattern. This was our half double crochet. Into the next stitch around the post, we're going to work our front post double crochet. Just like we did here when we set up for the stitch pattern. Into the next stitch, one half double crochet. Into the next, one front post double crochet. So I'm going to continue that across the back of the heel. So that's eight. And then my ninth stitch is right here. Okay, so now we're back to this side. So the first stitch along this side is the front post double crochet. So you're going to repeat working in the round until you have a total of 17 rounds for the main color. And you can stop whenever um, you want, but when I first designed it, I just kept going until I was running out of the main color. Okay, so I've completed my 17 rounds from here to here is 17. Now I'm going to switch back to the contrasting color. So I'm at the end of my round here. I'm going to complete this front post double crochet with the new color. Again, if you're carrying your yarn up, then you would just pick up the color you need. I'm going to cut this one off because I don't need this anymore. So in the first stitch, I'm going to work a slip stitch. Now I'm just going to work one half double crochet in every stitch around. Okay, this is my last stitch. So now I'm going to start the second round of the cuff. I'm going to work one half double crochet into this slip stitch here, just like we did down here, so that we can avoid a big jump here, or jog. So typically you insert around the post this way. For this very first round, I'm going to insert it into this stitch. So you see where we worked our half double crochet in here and in here. I'm going to insert my hook in that one and come back out this one. So I'm going around the post a little bit up higher. Just for this round. Okay. And then half double crochet. And then front post double crochet into the same stitch here, out the other side. Continue working the half double crochet and front post double crochet all the way around. Okay, so I'm at the beginning again. This was my first stitch here. I'm going to work one more round and this time I'm just going to work my front post double crochets normal. So that means that I'm going to go around this post here. Right down here, I went through these stitches. So here's the stitch and there's the other stitch. So that's what I was doing down here. But now I just want to work one more round of a normal front post double crochet. Half double crochet in the next stitch and then a front post double crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way around. So when I get to the end of the round, I'm going to work the last stitch with a single crochet. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. 
Okay, so this is as far as I'm going to go. If you want this taller, you can continue in pattern and when you're ready to end, just make a single crochet in the last stitch instead of a half double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to fasten off. And I'm going to weave my ends in on the inside. Now I'm going to work the little hanging loop. So I'm going to look for the center of my back. So this half double crochet column here is my center stitch. I'm going to insert my hook anywhere in that area and make a slip knot and then pull this through. And then I'm going to tighten this. And I'm just going to chain for as tall. And I'm just going to chain, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see what that looks like. So if you want this taller, you can keep going. So that's eight stitches. Let's do 10, nine, 10. So now I'm going to go back into the same space that I started right here and work a slip stitch. Okay, so I'm going to fasten off and then weave in all of my ends. Okay, so there you have your ribbed stocking. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you will be notified every time I post a video. All right, I'll see you next time.